Cyberpunk 2077 is not a kind game when it comes to frame rate and PCs, and generally if you really want to run Cyberpunk 2077 with the highest settings, with full ray tracing and everything, you really need to have a 3x GPU and a very good CPU to actually pull that off. And there is a lot of people right now who sadly don't have access to new GPUs or simply don't have the money to buy it, which I don't blame you. The actual market and the economy is all over the place. But today we're going to be talking just about that. Because, as I said, there is a lot of people who have 1x series of GPUs, maybe even older. So when they try to run Cyberpunk 2077, generally they have to run it in lower like resolutions and lower settings so they can maintain the frame rate itself. And keep in mind, also Cyberpunk is not really well optimized, even if you have the best uh, PC, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. But today we do have a solution for that with this great mod. So today I'm going to be presenting you FSR 2.0 mod which adds basically FSR 2.0 into Cyberpunk 2077. Now, if you don't know what FSR is, basically this is a rendering technology from AMD, and the full name is AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution. This is a competition for NVIDIA's DLSS, which is also another rendering technique that uh, basically boosts frame rates in games and enables high quality resolution gaming. Meaning, when you have this, you're gonna be able to run the game in higher settings and your frame rate is not not going to go all over the place. But keep in mind, right now Cyberpunk 2077 when it comes to FSR only has FSR 1.0. So as you can see on the gameplay itself, I have three things here. First off is FSR 1.0, the second one is FSR 2.0 and the third one is without any like uh, DLSS or FSR whatsoever. You can see that obviously if you don't have DLSS or FSR, your frame rate is not going to be the best overall. But what I noticed uh, trying this out on 3070 Ti and 1070 is that 1070 really benefited from this a little bit. There was a good FPS boost, which some, which is something I haven't really experienced before, and it's been giving me better frame rate overall when I'm roaming around the city itself driving a car than, for example, FSR 1.0 or even anything else. But keep in mind, sadly, if you do have an older GPU, you're not going to have access to DLSS in the first place. Now keep in mind, uh, the FSR is open source, which means that uh, luckily you're gonna be able to add this. When it comes to Nvidia and DLSS, they don't give you that. They will keep that to themselves until the end of time. So that's why I love AMD better because they actually give stuff in the open source so people can play around with it. And looking at this gameplay, and especially because I also tried it out on a laptop, I was getting a much better uh, overall frame rate than I did before. Because keep in mind, my laptop is not really the best. It's not a gaming laptop. I mostly use it for work. It has a 1x GPU, and that's basically the... Uh, the laptop version which generally doesn't run games all that much But what I noticed is that with this it was able to run the game a lot better than without it So if you even if you have a laptop This is going to help you out a lot if you game on that because well You're out on work or you don't have a, a PC or anything like that This is going to help you out a lot and another thing which I noticed when it comes to like FSR 2.0 and FSR 1.0 Is that it makes better image so because it's a rendering technique obviously not every rendering technique is going to give you the best results, especially if you put it on quality or balanced or something like that. Um, I noticed that FSR 2.0 gives a lot sharper image than FSR 1.1, so even in that case, it's going to make your game better without, uh, you know, sacrificing too much of the frame rate itself. Okay, so how do you install this? Actually, it's pretty easy. So you're gonna go to the website, I'm going to post a link down below, and you're going to download the latest file. You're going to get this uh, zipped file, Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0, and you're going to double click it. Now, it's going to open up the, uh, the packed files, and here you have bin. So all you have to do is just basically drag and drop this bin file over here and it's just going to put it into your uh, directory for Cyberpunk 2077. Now here also you do have a uh, two uh, like, uh, you know, disable and enable signature registry entries or reg entries, so you're going to put them on your desktop. So now, before we enter the game, we're going to double click enable signature override we're going to say yes don't worry it's not going to do anything and we're going to click yes this is going to basically 
add another reg entry to enable this mod for the game itself. And once you're in the game itself, only thing you have to do is go to your settings, go to graphics and enable DLSS. Now keep in mind, it says DLSS here, but this is actually FSR 2.0, just the name hasn't been changed. Below it, you have FSR 1.0, this is just the older one, but the DLSS one is now going to be FSR 2.0. So everything you change in it, like the performance, balanced quality, it's only going to work from that. DLSS is going to be disabled in that sense. And also to uninstall this, it's pretty easy. So we're going to go to bin x64. We're going to find press N and you're going to find nvngx.dll. This is the one that you basically put into the file. We're going to disable it now. So you just go and delete it as is. And now you have to click on this reg entry right here to disable signature override. So we're going to click it, say yes, yes, and that's it. FSR 2.0 has been removed from Cyberpunk 2077 and DLSS right now, as it works in the game, is going to work as DLSS. So this is pretty much everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. This is insane that the modding community has been crazy with some of these mods and they've been helping people who cannot run this game properly basically run this game um you know better so you can enjoy it or whatever so yeah if you have an older gpu especially 1x series or something like that try it out see how it works but so far what i've noticed and what people have noticed is that the quality is a lot better and you do get some boost uh, for the game now keep one thing in mind if the game cannot start after you do this disable motion blur go into the settings disable motion blur you don't need it it's useless just disable it and at the same time to be able to run this, you do need to have the latest version of the game itself. So that's the 1.5, whatever the patch was. So you have, need to have the latest patch in order to properly run this. And if it doesn't start, disable motion blur and that's it. So this is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go now and cool off a little bit because it's 50 degrees in my room and I cannot use an AC when I'm recording an audio. So that's a problem. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, click that like button, tell me down below what do you think about it. If any questions you cannot make it to run, just tell me down below. I will try to help as much as I can. So this is great, FSR 2.0 is nice and I wonder how is this going to be handled officially in the future. Maybe CDPR is going to be doing something with this. We'll have to wait for patch 1.6 to kind of see what they're going to be implementing in the first place. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, LKM signing out. Check us out on Twitter and Discord and also huge thanks to my current patreon supporters and yeah stay classy bye bye